She writes me and talks to me. She's just got amazing things to say to you, and I just see the transformation in her lives. And I know that you guys are going to go so far, and I just wish you nothing but the best. I love you. I love you. I love you. I just want you to have a lifetime of happiness. Cheers to Evan and Bundy. You guys are the best. Applause for Laura, please, please. Next up, you may have seen him on the cover of GQ magazine, figure skater of the year, president of the Dead Poet Society, Ishtan Tomashek. of December. <laughs> Back then I was just a wee little lad, not knowing the countless times he would make me glad and mad. Like the time he jumped into my crib to cut my little nails. <clears throat> Legend holds the blood filled at least a thousand pails. <laughs> or the time we worked at Planet of the Ace, as Barker did to Gilmore, Bundy punched me in my face. <laughs> and within four hours of finally being hired, thanks to this guy, I found myself fired. <laughs> but I have to be honest, it wasn't as bad as it sounds, for there were many up for there were many more ups than there were downs. I'll never forget all the pranks and the jokes, like throwing snowballs at cars and the lobster shell hoax. <laughs> Or the time we left a present at the foot of someone's door, let me tell you that digested bean burrito could not have smelled more. <laughs> we had several laughs as we raised lots of hell. Many of our stories I unfortunately cannot tell. Thank you. <laughs> Enough about Bundy, let's talk about Evan. As some of you may know, we call her Kevin. <laughs> we 
living in Charleston, she was studying to become a nurse. Then she met Bundy. More to come in the next verse. <laughs> Instinctively, the brothers, we put her through the test. She passed with flying colors. She simply was the best. Her cool and kind demeanor puts us all at ease. She never rolls her eyes, even when we cut the cheese. <laughs> Congratulations to you both. I wish you, years, I wish you years of love. There are no hardships coming that you cannot rise above. On this special occasion, I'd like to raise my glass. In honor of Bunny and Evan, get up off your chair. <laughs> It's funny how fighting with Bundy over who controls the radio, whose turn it is in Mega Man, or even scuffles ending bloody and unresolved can land you a spot as the best man at his wedding. This only demonstrates how strong the relationship between Bundy and me is. <clears throat> However, either of my two brothers could easily be standing in my place since his relationship with them is equally as strong. Bundy's close bond with his brothers does not end there. <clears throat> his devoted relationship with his parents, nieces, aunts, and uncles, cousins, friends, and of course his wife and her family make Bundy the exceptional and loving person he is. Five years ago, I was blessed to have a sister added to my family when my brother Laszlo married Veronica. I feel equally as blessed with the addition of another sister, Evan. Growing up with these with three older brothers, <clears throat> I was not aware of the gentleness that sisters could bring to my life. It would have been nice to have them around for the years I was getting my butt kicked. <laughs> As this marriage between Bundy and Evan brings together these two families, we're looking forward to cultivating the same relationship with the Donahue family that Bundy already has. It is my great honor and privilege to raise my glass and a toast to Bundy and Evan, wishing them a lifetime of happiness and love. Shok bolog shagot kevanak nektak, ishtani antashan. Ishtani antashan! Let's hear it for the best man. The next gentleman has rather small shoes to fill. <laughs> Richard Lancelot Mori the fifth with some words, please. Hey guys. Alright, uh, I wish I had some like really thick dark glasses so I don't have to like look at you guys. Like this thing. Alright. Uh, so I've known Evan since before she graduated high school, uh, we worked at uh, Cinema 7 together. Um, I, I remember the first time she told me that she was dating Bundy. And I was driving her down to Charleston. I think I was going there for to graduate school, you know, thinking about it. And so, like, I was driving her down there. And so she's like, yeah, uh, I'm dating this guy now. His name is Bundy. And I was like, is he a shoe salesman? <laughs> Or is he a serial killer? <laughs> and uh, and so she's like, no, no, he's not any of that. Um, and so I got to meet him for the first time. Uh, I think it was a couple weeks later um, at a party. And well, he's not the most outspoken of individuals. I think he probably said like two or three words to me. So I was pretty sure he was a serial killer at that time. <laughs> uh, I, I even pulled Evan aside a couple times, like. You better sleep with one eye open. Uh, I think the first time I actually got to really talk to him and really got to know him uh, was at the garage sale before they went to. She went to Honduras, and um, he's easily the nicest guy that I've ever met, which of course didn't help anything at all. Uh, 
but honestly, Evan, you couldn't have found anyone better. And that's a backhanded compliment. It's, it's a double entendre. Um, but honestly, you guys are perfect together. And uh, I wish you guys the longest happiness. I'm probably going to slaughter this. Uh, A.K. Shake is wrong. to make an oval around this wooded area here. This wooden plain area, please make an oval. An oval, please. 